G'day guys, Shane here. Have you ever had a photo stolen that you've put online? I have, and it's an absolute pain when someone takes your photo and claims credit for it. In this video, what I'm talking about is watermarking your photos with a logo to try and help prevent people ripping off your photos like a bloody mongrel they are. Let's get into it. So the photo that we're talking about here, the one that I got stolen, was of this ripper photo of this excavator. It was used multiple exposures, lots of light painting, capturing the galactic core of the Milky Way, all done with a DSLR, merged them all by layers in Photoshop, and I ended up with a ripper photo. Really, really proud of that photo. I tagged the owner of the excavator in that photo. They went ahead, took the photo, put on their Instagram feed, didn't tag me, and said no filters, no Photoshop. Well, guess what, there was Photoshop. But anyway, they claimed it as their own. And I had a look today before recording this video, and that thing has been reposted in their Instagram feed probably five or six times. They've used it quite a bit. Knowingly, um, they did something wrong here because the photography community, when they saw what had happened, they really got stuck into this guy. It was quite funny. But that photo, was watermarked. The one that I put onto my Instagram feed, it was watermarked. And all they did was copied it and cropped it and off they went with it. So watermarking is not going to stop anyone pinching your photos. So realistically, if you're doing watermarking in order for people to stop pinching your photos, the one way for people to not pinch your photos online is don't put them online. Simple as that. But if we've accepted the fact that some people may well pinch our photos and you still want to watermark them just in case, this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. First of all, you're going to need a watermark. You can just use, you can just use the, the, the text, if you like, on the program that we're going to talk about here, and some people actually do that. But if you get yourself a PNG-type watermark, uh, you can and look, just Google it. There's heaps of different ways to make this thing and bring it in. When you're building your logo, I would say here's a couple of points. When you find somewhere online to actually build this logo, and there's heaps, keep this in mind. Make it simple. Best advice I can give you here is make it one color only, or make it two, make it a white one and a black version, so you might swap them in and out between different photos that are appropriate, and uh, make it a little bit quirky. Make it something that's gonna really suit you. The first one that I'm gonna do is Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom, I thought it only did text. It does graphics as well. We can put a graphic logo in Adobe Lightroom. That's what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do that. In Adobe Lightroom, this is a photo I took uh, at a wedding just the other day. Uh, not on the iPhone, it's taken with uh, the Sony, but I've put it into the phone, done some editing in Lightroom, and I'm gonna export it now. So we go up the top here with the box and the arrow, hit up there, and down the bottom it's got export as. If we go export as, I've just loaded a graphic in here. Uh, down the bottom it says include watermark. Hit the box for that to tick it to say that we're gonna do that. It's got customize there. If we go to customize, up the top there, it's already got the logo that I've put in there, my white logo. Um, and you've got the option up the top to go text, and you just write text in there, hit graphic, import the graphic. Once we import the graphic, you've got eight points to put that graphic around the photo. So you've got these white points, and you can see the logo is moving around, and then there's two on each side, or one on each side, two, so there's eight in total. You can then increase the size down the bottom here. I'm gonna put that logo in the bottom at the center because it's just, there's a bit of negative space there for it. But it's too big, so we'll decrease the size of that and we'll decrease the opacity of that as well because you don't want the logo to overpower the photo. You want the photo, the, the photo to talk for itself. The vertical offset here uh, is because we're on the bottom or the top and you can go raise or lower it from that anchor point that I talked about at the beginning. So I think right about there will do. Um, I'll go back now and hit tick, and it's exported. That's it, photo's done. That's how you do it with Adobe Lightroom. So if you are already using Adobe Lightroom to edit your photos, and I highly encourage you to do so because it's just a bloody ripper editing program, well, you now got an export there to do the exporting watermark with a graphic and have a good logo sitting on that photo. Ripper setup, I really, really like that. Option number two is a program or an app, I should say, called Photomark or Photomarks. And uh, this one here is a, an app that's specifically to do these sorts of thing that we're talking about here. So here's the same photo. I'm going to go down to Logo, uh, hit from Files, pull in the white logo from my files, and there's that logo. And now it's just a matter of manipulating it with the gestures that you would normally associate with your iOS device. So I'm gonna make it roughly that size. 
hold onto it and drag it. This time I'm going to put it up the top right hand corner underneath the bridge there, but it's really bright. So we'll touch on that there. Down the bottom, it's got now transparency. We'll increase the transparency just so it's not overpowering the photo. It's mainly for someone who's looking at your photo then to go, who took that? So then your logo is there. It's roughly that sort of opacity there. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to do anything with the shadows. It doesn't work that well with this particular logo. And we're done. I'm going to hit the export that right there. We just hit other down the bottom and then you've got the option to save image. There you go. There's the two photos. Very quick, very simple. Both of them work incredibly well. Both of these apps are paid apps. Now the Lightroom, obviously you pay the subscription service for Lightroom. It's an incredibly powerful tool. So if you've already got it, that's how you would export a logo from Lightroom. The other one is also about 10 bucks a year, I think it is, 10 to $15 a year. But again, if you don't use Lightroom and you still want to uh, have the option to put out a graphic logo, that way works pretty well as well. So if you've got another way to do this, I'd love to hear your thoughts as other apps that do similar sorts of things. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later. See ya.